Yo, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today I'm gonna show you the Siberia OS by the shade and this is the 10th February 2019 build and let me talk about like what is different and how do I feel this ROM is right now. So let's just begin. This is the quick step launcher which is present by default over here on this ROM and let me show you the settings quickly and inside gestures you will get this double tap gesture so double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen is present so that is a pretty good thing you can double tap on the home screen to like make the device into sleep and if you swipe to the left you will get this google now cards pretty cool thing and if you swipe down you will get the quick settings panel so no like problems at all regarding this customizations of this launcher and you can swipe all the way up to get the like app drawer and stuff so these features are there now regarding customizations this rom has everything if you want to know details of the customizations here is a card and i'll show you like what are the customizations present over here and by the way we have everything like let me show you the status bar double tap to sleep is there and the brightness adjustment like from the status bar is here too as you can see so these features are like there are features all the way in this rom if you go into display settings you will find the double tap to wake to and you can use it we have the font manager so we do get a lot of fonts over here you get the google sans and stuff so everything is present over here you get the ubuntu storopia or these kind of fonts or even sony fonts so a lot of fonts you can choose from and inside system ui theme you get this light dark black and siberia theme and if you go into the accent color here you get a lot of accent color as you can see so you can change whatever accent color you like and here we have the quick settings title styles and i mean tile styles and over here let me just choose this one and let me show you here as you can see the quick toggle styles changed and you can like customize from these many toggles over here so pretty cool feature you can change the switch appearance too if you need it ambient display is there and works just fine even night light and stuff does work as you can see from here so these features are pretty cool and works the ROM is super stable right now and one more cool thing is Google Pay is working super fine in this ROM and I did set up and I mean it is working super fine right away after you flash the ROM so that is a really good thing. So you can use like banking apps on this ROM no issues whatsoever. Now let me talk about the stock camera over here in this ROM. The stock camera we get is of course the MIUI camera over here and this MIUI camera does work super fine even portrait mode and stuff does work. We even have the AI mode over here so no complaints regarding this MIUI camera and we do get by default camera to API in this ROM so you can install Pixel 3 cameras and that should be working fine. Here it is I have installed Pixel 3 camera and even portrait mode and stuff with the Pixel 3 camera is working I did test it and even HDR plus and stuff does work. So no issues regarding these kind of camera to API stuff. And what else should I show you? Let me just go into the settings. So what's new over here if you ask me is if you go into the sound settings and scroll down and you will get this me sound enhancer over here. So this was not present on the Rashid's build, I think. So this is a pretty cool feature. If you want a default EQ in your like ROM by default, this is a really great ROM for you. And here you will get these kind of presets like the all the MI headphones are like present over here. And here you can choose from Mi earbuds, in-ear, piston 1, general like general in-ear, basic edition, Mi pistons 2, pistons like uh, 3 and stuff like the youth edition, color edition, Mi capsule and lot of like even basic headphones like these presets are pretty cool. I use it with the youth edition. I find that the youth edition is working fine on this ROM and the sound output is really great like from the headphone jack and even we have the default preset and stuff and you can choose the presets to be rock jazz pop classic hip-hop and like other stuff so these are pretty cool you can even disable the screenshot sound and stuff only one thing that i feel that it should have been fixed somehow but i don't know how actually and if i just like try to take a screenshot as you can see it just captured this kind of like let me open the gallery so that I can show you. So it just like captures this kind of the touches. So the scroll kind of thing. So this is pretty annoying in my opinion. But yeah. And over here, if you want the best battery life, I feel this is not a great ROM for you because let me just show you here. As you can see, I did like top up my phone from here 
when it was around 40% of charge and I did like top up and over here as you can see I got around five like five and a half hours of screen on time so with like overall I am getting around six hours of screen on time which is not really good considering the Siberia OS by Rashid had one of the most amazing battery life in my opinion in this like stock Android like custom ROMs so that is pretty disappointing I think Rashid would fix it in future updates but right now it's not the case you're gonna get around six hours of screen on time or even hardly you can get six and a half that's it so that is pretty much it regarding the battery life and let me show you the Siberia settings and stuff so over here we do have like all the stuff we used to have like the screen off animation and stuff like CRT and what else should I show you we have the privacy guard and stuff if you use the privacy guard this should be a pretty good feature for you and what else we, inside sound settings you will get this kind of ring and stuff so that you can like have these over here pretty cool feature in my opinion let me just go back we have the dialer settings you can have this vibrate on connect and stuff and even inside buttons we get this screen off power button torch for like you can long press the power button to toggle torch when the device is locked so these are pretty cool feature and of course we do have this advanced reboot and stuff over here so you can directly boot into recovery and what else should i show you inside panels we have the status bar items over here and we do get this like siberia logo by default which is present like this over here we have the hd logo instead of wall de and brightness control i already showed you over here we have the network traffic 4g icon and the wall d icon is the hd icon it looks pretty compact you can even customize the clock and stuff from here you can add the date and stuff i i added the date over here if you can notice and if you like see the lock screen let me just show you so in the lock screen it shows this kind of like weather over here as you can see and it does look pretty cool and it, it even like shows the music you were playing earlier over here i just paused the music so it's showing the music's name over here so let me just unlock and quickly let me show you the film it's scanner speed So as you can see the fingerprint scanner is pretty fast not too bad at all and over here if you want to talk about the face unlock and stuff well the for the face unlock you have to flash the gapps two times once when you are flashing the rom you have to like flash the gapps then like i used to flash micro gapps and i even flashed micro gapps right now so when you are flashing the rom just flash the rom file gapps file reboot then set up the rom then just go back to your recovery then flash the gapps again then reboot and like only then you can get the face on recognition stuff in your like smart lock so that is how it is and i know it is pretty annoying so let me show you some more more gestures over here we, and we do have the full screen edge gestures over here and it does work as you can see i'm just going back going home and going to the recent panel this just works super fine so in my opinion these are pretty cool features and if you want to use the full screen edge gestures on your custom rom this is a pretty cool feature and what else should i show you i don't know we have the double tap to sleep everywhere and battery settings we have the notification led and stuff in over here we have the lock screen customization the face unlock is not showing over here because i did not simply flash the g apps like second time so that is how it is but the face unlock should be working fine and over here we have the like lock screen weather and stuff and you can increase the font size of the clock and stuff in the lock screen you can have the fingerprint authentication vibration fingerprint error vibration lock screen charging info is there so pretty cool customizations and let me just go back and let me clear all the apps now let me open some apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and ram management of this rom let's open chrome file explorer facebook now twitter play store instagram youtube now if i open all the apps simultaneously and as you can see from here like most of the apps are in memory but the twitter app for stopped somehow like reloaded and let me just do it again so as you can see no issues regarding memory management right now and the app open up speeds are pretty fine I have no issues regarding the app of speeds and stuff in this ROM. The UI feels pretty smooth over here as you can see. Like I have no complaints regarding the performance of this ROM. 
and let me open pubg and show you guys the gameplay of this rom like which settings you can play pubg on in this rom by default so as you can see from here we can play pubg at high settings on hd no hdr of course so the highest option available over here is hd and high settings so let me just quickly start a match and show you the gaming performance over here So as you can see the gaming performance feels pretty smooth over here and no issues whatsoever regarding lags and stuff. Alright so I'm getting shorter and I'm dead. So as you can see the gaming performance is pretty good. You can play PUBG if you want to in this ROM. The gaming is pretty good but the battery life kind of sucks in my opinion. And let me just go home and let me show you some more stuff from here. So you will find the about section over like to the bottom over here and not inside system. So let me just go into about inside Android version. It shows the Siberia logo on top. Android version shows as 9 of course version is like 2.2. February 5th 2019 security patch. So we get the latest security patch and the stock kernel version is the Insigniax kernel. So that is pretty much it regarding the about section. Inside system we don't get much stuff like camera to API toggle or something. We do not get those. We only have the gesture option and inside swipe up home. We even get this double tap to sleep on the nav bar. So that is pretty much it regarding this ROM guys. The ROM feels like pretty smooth over here and it's better than ever pretty much. So you can definitely flash this ROM if you want to. The Cyber OS has been one great ROM but the battery life is kind of a downside right now. So that is all I had to say regarding this ROM right now. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from Carry and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.